Welcome, dear viewers, today we will show you a beautiful story from Arab history. But before we start, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button so that you can receive all new. The story of al zir Salem is considered one of the most beautiful and wonderful stories transmitted by the Arabs throughout history. You may know that the Arabs transmitted a lot of news and days, and immortalized the names of many poets, sages and knights of that time. The character of al zir Salem was one of these characters that bewildered people, and there were many fallacies in it until it became as if it was a character of imagination and delusions. Its owner is a legendary hero who does not break dust, and a stallion poet for whom the poems are preserved. He was the first to intend poems, and the first to disbelieve and degrade poetry. His lamentation and weeping moved tribal norms, and he played on the strings of ignorance, killing an entire tribe, and wiping it out from the ground. He is shameless and playful. Yes, he is al zir Salem, whose name the researchers differed, so it was said Salem and it was said Uday. So he is Uday bin Rabia bin al-Harith bin Zuhair bin Jashim bin Bakr bin Habib bin Amr bin Ghanim bin Taglib bin Wail. The Different Titles of al zir Salem The title of al zir Salem with more than one title, the title of the Minister of Women, he was also called al-Muhalal and nicknamed Abi Layli. He was called a slacker because he was wearing loose clothes. It is also said that he was called flabby because he humiliated poetry. He called father of Layla, because of a vision he saw when he was young. He saw himself having a girl named Layla, who would have a great deal, so when he had a girl, he named her Layla, and her husband Kultham bin Malik, and she gave birth to Amr bin Kultham bin Malik. The owner of a famous Arabic poem, The events before the story of al zir Salem. He lived in the south of the Arabian Peninsula, and the tribes at that time were at war with each other, except for the Bakr and Taglib tribes. They were known for understanding, valor and courage. And the course of the events of the story of al zir Salem began when Rabia, father of al zir Salem, raided the Kindian king and defeated him in a battle called al Salah. So the Kindi king sought the help of the Yemeni king, and Kindia was an ancient kingdom in the Arabian Peninsula. So the Yemeni king sent an army that captured Rabia father al zir Salem and then killed him by hanging. The tribes were afraid of the king's tyranny and obeyed his command and declared obedience to him. The Arabian Peninsula returned to his control, and the page of Rabia was turned. That ruling king, to open the page for taking revenge for his two sons, while in Minister Salem, except that they were young at that time. Days followed, and while increased in strength, courage, and valor, until he became a knight who could not break his dust. As for al zir Salem, he was a large-bodied boy, a brave knight, but he was inclined to fun, women, and wine, except in times of hardship. The trick to recover al Bulila, the daughter of Mara from the Yamani king Wael had a role in taking revenge for his father and recovering the venerable, the cousin of al zir Salem, from the Yamani king. The beauty and perfection of this girl, the good qualities, the eloquence and the spontaneity have reached him. So his minister, Nabin, sent a message to her father once, in which he delivered a sermon lined with threats and intimidation, so he would either marry him off to his daughter, or declare war on his tribe. The old man Mara had no choice but to stop the bloodshed, pay the calamity, and agree to this offer with a radiant face. Hiding in his bed a deep sadness and acknowledgement of a sacrifice that will haunt him forever, how not when he gave his word to his nephew and it was only for him to summon Wael and tell him what happened, and that he wished to die and be buried under the soil, and not to be in this humiliation, and to obey the order of this cowardly tyrant.
So Wael went to a soothsayer to see what he was doing, so the soothsayer said to him. Is there no way except for the trick that they prepare the equipment boxes, put in them the distinguished knights, and set out on the journey to the Yemeni follower? And Wael disguises himself and makes himself Joker, and this is what happened. And when he entered the king bedchamber he introduced the king himself and took his sword out of its scabbard, stabbed the king in his chest. And returned to their homes with al Gulila and married her, and became a king who was feared in their speculations. The power of Wael has become unbearable. However, the joy was not complete. His power has increased to an unbearable degree. So he prevented the neighborhood, kindled the fire, became the protector of the fever, and prevented hunting in the desert, until the torrent reached the stubble. Joss's was the brother to Wael's wife and he was one of the best knights, with a reputation and honor among the Arabs, except that his disdain took away from him every outlet. And an indiscretion ran through his veins that did not leave the dream an outlet, and whenever the fire of his hatred was extinguished, Weil returned and set it on fire with his action. Until one day Weil entered to his wife's bedchamber and asked her a question that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. He asked her, Who is dearest Weil? And Wael here means the tribe of Tagli, the tribe of Wael, and the tribe of Bakr, the tribe of his wife and his cousins she did not answer him until he repeated the question to her many times. And she answered after his insistence on her, my brothers Hamam and Jossas. During that period, Suad bint Munchith al Tamimiya, the aunt of Jossas, who was called al Basis, lived with them and owned a camel so she sent her camel with Jossus's camels to graze in Wiles' fever, and Wiles only allowed his kinsman's camels to enter this fever. So when Wiles saw her camel, he told Jossus to don't bring this camel to his fever again. But Jossus said, no camel grazes pasture except with this camel. After this provocative dialogue, Wiles returned to his home and asked his wife, do you see that there is a man among the Arabs who prevents his neighbor from me? So she was silent, so he repeated it a second and a third time, and she said, Yes, my brother Jossas, and his relatives are his cousin Amr bin al-Harith. So he mentioned to her what happened between him and her brother, so she implored him not to sever his ties of kinship, and so she did with Jossas to ward off problems. Murrah and his children tied the camel so that she would not return the water, so when Wiles' camels passed by, she untied the leash and followed the camels, so when Wiles saw her camel, he throw her udder, so her milk mixed with her blood. And when al Basis heard about her camel's death she screamed and said what a shame. How shameful how Wiles kills your guest camel while you are silent, Jossus said to her. Shut up, for I will kill a camel greater than your camel. 